And good evening, hockey fans in Newfoundland and Labrador, across Canada and around the world via the internet. We welcome to game number one of the 2024 Herder Memorial Trophy Championship Series. We are at the CBS Arena this evening for this game number one. As we just pop up inside the booth for just a moment. Hi, everyone. George Scott back with you again for my 11th Herder Trophy Series. It's great to be back. Steve Clark is behind you. He's too tall. You can't see his face. Steve is doing the camera for us. Just coochie down a little. There we are. No, go the other way. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Steve did the uh, camera for us last year in uh, Southern Shore as well. So glad to have him back. We've got a matchup this evening between the champions of the Central West Senior Hockey League, the Deer Lake Red Wings, and the champions of the Avalon East Senior Hockey League, the St. John Senior Caps, the St. John Senior Roof Tech Caps. We have to get in the... Uh, the sponsor there just give him a little plug should be a good series uh, Deer Lake were here last year they played Southern Shore lost in uh, five games to the breakers they're back for a second kick at it uh, this year for St. John's first time in a few years they've been uh, back in the herder looking to uh, bring the the trophy back to the east coast of the province back to the Avalon should be a a good series uh, Deer Lake last year as I said lost in five they were allowed to pick up uh, four players from the Central West Senior Hockey League. They picked up three from the Cataracts and uh, one from Stephenville, a couple from Stephenville, including uh, their backup goaltender. Tonight we'll, we'll get to that a little more as it goes along. For the Red Wings, they got here by defeating the Grand Falls Windsor Cataracts in the finals of the Central West Senior Hockey League in five games. And for the St. John Senior Caps, they finished third in their regular season and they knocked off the first place Clarenville Caribou's four straight in a bit of a stunner. Uh, in their finals. Down at uh, center ice, the red carpet is out. There are going to be some presentations being made prior to the start of tonight's game. We're going to present the evening telegram trophy, team in senior hockey with the most points this year. The S.E. Tuma Memorial Award. That is given to the leading scorer, again, combined between the two leagues. Top goaltender will also be presented. Albert Pee Wee Crane Memorial will be presented to the Rookie of the Year, again, taking both leagues into account. And the T.A. Gus Soper Memorial Award, most valuable player, again, as done by, or as decided between the two leagues. Big crowd on hand here at the CBS Arena. Beautiful location, great spot for the Herder this year. They'll play games one and two here in CBS tonight and tomorrow night, 7.30 start for both games. Then things switch to Deer Lake at the Hodder Memorial next weekend for games three, four, and five if necessary. That'll be Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday afternoon. And if it goes beyond that, if this series goes six or seven games, we are back here at the CBS Arena in a couple of weeks for those games. Always a great time of year when we get down to the Herder of the Spring. It's a tradition long established here in Newfoundland and Labrador. The Herder dates back to 1935. And it's been played for almost every year since. There have been a few exceptions during more time and of course during COVID a couple of years ago. Teams making their way out onto the ice. The Red Wings in the white with the red trim. The St. John's Caps in the red with the white and black trim. Starting goaltenders for the Red Wings will be number 32, Billy Clark. And for St. John's, number 35, Kyle Downer. All the teams lining up at the blue line, or all the players on both teams lining up on the blue line, not just the starting lineups. So we get set for the presentations.
stadium announcer, Chris Ryan. Introducing some of the dignitaries here from HL, Gary Gale, Chair of Senior Council, Joe Maynard. Jack Casey is here. Andy Wright from the Central West League. Just acknowledging Andy Wright's recent induction into the HL Hall of Fame. So first off, we're going to get the Evening Telegram uh, Limited Trophy. Evening Telegram Trophy goes to the Clarenville Caribous, who finished first in the Avalon Senior Hockey League, and the plaque for the Evening Telegram Trophy being awarded to Ivan Hapgood, general manager of the Caribous, and player Justin Pender. Up next, the SE Tumor Memorial Award. The leading point getter between the two leagues this past year. Forty one points in twenty games. Conception Bay Conception Bay Blues player Chris Hodge. The leading scorer in senior hockey this year. Goaltenders Award for the goaltender with the best goals against average in the regular season. From the Clarenville Caribous, A.J. Whiffen. And folks, I have lost track of how many times A.J. Whiffen has won the Goaltenders Award. Multiple time winner. Next up, Rookie of the Year Award, the Albert Pee Wee Crane Memorial Award. Matt McKim, the St. John Senior Caps Rookie of the Year, received his trophy from Joe Maynard, uh, H&L. The 
MTA Gus Soper Award, most valuable player. Competing in senior hockey here in the province. Gary Gale, president of senior council will present this award. The recipient of the most valuable player from the Clarenville Caribou's Kevin Reed. The trophy was accepted by young Jack Temple. Going to do a ceremonial opening face-off. They didn't have a puck right away. <laughs> One gets slid over to Joe Maynard. And to do the ceremonial opening face-off, Terry Ryan Jr., TR, recently inducted into the Newfoundland and Labrador Hockey, Newfoundland and Labrador Hall of Fame. Mark Rideout, Stephen Sims, taking part in the ceremonial face-off. being presented with a framed jersey this time with the St. John's Caps. So Terry now joins the class of Hall of Fame members here in Newfoundland and Labrador. He's also a member of the Canadian Ball Hockey Hall of Fame, inducted just a couple of years ago. If I had to give you Terry's resume, we'd be here for a while. But great to see T.R. in the rink. Time now for the National Anthem.
And a beautiful rendition of the anthem indeed. All right, preliminaries are over. We are set to get underway. Game number one of this 2024 Herder Memorial Trophy Championship Series. Dillick Red Wings in town to take on St. John's Senior Caps. The officials for tonight's game, referee Sheldon Keogh, Stephen Orr. On the lines, Brian Lambert, Justin Barrett. As I said, it's a special time of the year for hockey fans in Newfoundland and Labrador. Eighty-nine years ago, this trophy was first played for. And the CBS Arena, a beautiful setting for games one and two. Fairly new facility right on the shores of Conception Bay South in the town of Kelgroves. All right, once again, starting goaltenders, Billy Clark in net for the Red Wings. Kyle Downer will get the start for the senior caps. Referee calls the players to center ice. Again, Red Wings in the white and red trim. St. John's in the red, black and white. And we are underway. Game number one of the herder. Dumped in by the Caps. Smith, or Clark rather, right to play. And that's going to be quickly an icing call against St. John. Said Smith, Billy Smith. Pull that one from way back when. Billy Clark in goal. Hines won the faceoff. Back to Sims. Sims with a shot wide of the goal, hoping for a deflection. Stephen Gillard on the right point will hold it in. Walsh behind his goal. George Walsh lugging it out for St. John's. Hangs on to it. Pass up at the blue line. Thompson jumps on it. Thompson getting around the outside. Taken to the boards. Coffee off the glass. Brandon Hines trying to get it out. Brandon Hines was the MVP of the playoffs in the Central West Senior Hockey League this year. Caps keep it in. Humber Dredge behind the goal. Push to the boards. Up comes right out in front. Red Wings have it. And just get it out. Cody Drover turns, shoots in. Drover, one of the pickups that the Red Wings were allowed. Picked up from the Cataracts. McKim with a shot. First save there. Thrown right out in front. Marr, his pass was in behind Drover. Those two finished 1-2 in scoring in the Central West League this year. Jordan Marr one point ahead of teammate Cody Drover. Thrown through the crease. Norman's got it, and the net has become dislodged down to our right. So the whistle goes. Control it from the faceoff. Hefferman shoots it in. It kept in over in the fireboards by McGurk. Kyle McGurk out there, and we've got our first penalty of the game. Will be a boarding call. It's going to go against Mitchell Normore. Also a pickup for Deer Lake. He goes to the penalty box and Caps will go on the power play.
from the faceoff it goes in behind the Red Wings goal sits at the side of the goal St. John's control it a wrist shot blocked by Gillard puck goes up off the glass scramble for it St. John's maintained possession back at the point McGraw shot it in just wide kept in by Norman and shot by McKim over the top of the goal McGrath will keep it in at the right point comes right to the side of the goal Clark has got it and the whistle goes we've got a minute 22 left to go into power play St. John's will stay with that first power play unit Clear Lake change up their penalty killers the two Hines brothers Brandon and Michael out there along with Lucas McKay and Lucas Robinson McKay has it behind his goal pushed to the boards by Bishop St. John's come up with it right in front of goes through the crease out the other side Hines didn't get much on that get, get it out over the blue line now it comes back a little bit deeper Have to bring it up. McGraw's got some good speed. Gets it in over the blue line. Drop pass back. Unable to get the shot away was Walsh. Robinson will clear it down the ice. Stopped up there by Downer. 38 seconds to go in the power play. Humber Dredge off the boards. Down into the corner. And you're with Sims. He'll leave it in the corner. Roger Pender. That shot knocked down by Langdon. And Langdon will shoot it down the ice. Just a dozen ticks left on the clock in this penalty. Humber Dredge stops off inside the blue line. Cross ice pass. That shot off the stick of snow up and out of play just as the power play expires. So a good penalty kill for the Red Wings here early in this opening period. Right out against Langdon. Langdon's going to get waved out. Jordan Maher in to take the face off. Around the boards looking for Drover. Drover turns and chops it out. Langdon racing after it. Fewer gets back first for the Caps. Drover has to wait for his teammate to get onside. Robinson. He's forced out. Now Robinson will shoot it in. Puck comes out to center. Oak at it. Dumped it down into the far corner. On it first. Norman for St. John's. At the blue line for Fewer. Hopped over his stick. Oak across for Robinson. Big hit over on the far side. Red wing player knocked down. That was Parsons. Puck squirts loose. Caps have it. Thompson. That pass picked off. Comes right back to Thompson, though. Humber Dredge. Penny tried to step into him. Humber Dredge just avoided that hit. Ryan Penny known for throwing his weight around. Humber Dredge, not the big guy, but very quick, very skilled. Remember watching him play Triple A a few years ago, the under 18s. Terrific young player. Sims off the glass and out it comes. Walsh is on it. Dumped it in. Teammate was trapped inside. That was Humber Dredge. They'll get a line change in.
That's kept in to the middle. McGraw with a shot. Rebound is there. And a glug, big time glove save made by Clark. Great chance there for the Caps. Looking good here in this first period. Face off to the right of Clark. Brandon Hines coming in to take the face off. One by the Caps. The wrist shot off escape wide comes through the boards. Red Wings with a chance to bring it out. Robinson got to the front of the goal. And it was knocked off his stick. Hines back to pick it up. Behind the play, referee's got his arm in the air. Interference. And given that the Red Wings had the puck, I'm guessing that the Red Wings have gone to the penalty box, and they are. It's Lucas Robinson. So second power play chance. Someone very familiar with the St. John's cap said to me before the game, Deer Lake needs to stay out of the penalty box. St. John's has a very good power play. Well, so far, it's the second power play. And there's a steal. Cody Drover, shorthanded, shoots. Downer makes the save, hangs on. Drover looking five hole. Great opportunity while down a man. Just 10 seconds into the power play. First good scoring chance for the Red Wings. Face off win shot by Oak. Rolling puck, and that was put well wide. It comes all the way out to McKay. McKay off the board, stumps it back into the St. John's end. Comes over here to open wing. Bishop. Joel Bishop gets it in over the blue line. He gets knocked down. Battle for the puck. Red Wings win it and send it the length of the ice. A minute 25 to go in the power play. We'll drop it back. Bring it in. Bishop again pushed against the boards. Gets it down a little deeper this time. Bishop. Down and along the goal line, the shot came in from Cole, and Clark has got that one as well. Minute three to go now in the penalty to the Red Wings. Face off to Clark's left. Hines against McGraw. McGraw down along the goal line, backhand. And I think the net has come off again. Let's hope we're not going to have a lot of that tonight. We've had it twice already. And St. John's win the faceoff. Throw across ice back at the point. McGraw wrist shot that got through. Clark has it. Hangs on. 41 seconds to go in the penalty. McGraw against Hines. Hines wins the faceoff. Puck goes into the corner. Bishop battling for it. Gets it back to Murphy Johnson. Over the other side. 
That one off a stick comes to the boards. Red Wings are on it. They'll throw it around the boards. Be kept in by McKim. Murphy Johnson. Wrist shot wide. McGraw's got it. Into the middle, picked off by Hines. Hines gives it to Michael Hines. And Red Wings wanted a penalty on that, and they're going to get one. Referee's arm is up. And now we got a little bit of how do you do. That's Bishop and Oak exchanging pleasantries at center ice. Five seconds left to go in the Deer Lake penalty. Kyle McGraw down to the penalty box for St. John's holding and there's going to be a slashing call against Deer Lake after the fact so that will negate the Deer Lake power play. Didn't see who that was who went in the penalty box for Deer Lake. The initial call was a holding penalty against McGraw of St. John's. But prior to the whistle going, a slashing call against Deer Lake. So all penalties are off the board now. Marr into the middle. Drover back at the point. McKay with a shot, stopped by Downer. He looked around, but he's got it, kept it out. And now another penalty to St. John's. So now Deer Lake will go on the power play. That was Oak from Deer Lake who picked up the slashing penalty a moment ago. The Red Wings first power play opportunity. Sims with a hard shot, hits some bodies in front, comes to the boards. Comes to the near boards, kept in by Sims, Stephen Sims. Cody Drover, cross ice. No more lost it. And St. John's will send it the length of the ice. Still no score in this one. 1.15 to go in the power play for the Red Wings. Brandon Hines down the right side. Coffee shoots! Downer with a big save. Great opportunity there for the Red Wings. Forty-five seconds left to go in the man advantage. Coffee who had that chance a moment ago. He'll go in to chase it. Coffee working in along the boards. Robinson gets it back to the point for Brandon Hines. Down low. Back up high. Robinson one-timer was deflected. Hines, Michael Hines got a stick on it in front of the goal. Unable to hold it in was Robinson as he dove across the line. Just 12 seconds ago in the power play. Here's Brandon Hines rips it hard around the boards. It'll be kept in. Penny looking for it. Five seconds to go and that'll do it. Humber Dredge who picked up that penalty for the Caps back out on the ice. So we are now five on five with nine and a half to go. Dredge read that, picked it off at center. McKim had his stick broken looking for a penalty call. Stick seemed to break pretty easily. They sometimes will do. So no call. Snow leaves it behind his goal. 
It kept in by St. John's. Michael Cole gets it behind the goal. Sims pushes his man to the boards. Anderson in there battling for the Red Wings. Humber Dredge comes up with it. Back at the point. Long wrist shot. That one off of Anderson. Ends up in behind the Deer Lake goal. Penny. Outlet pass to Anderson. Red Wings were changing. Robinson brings it in. Drop pass. Meyer. Drover shot. That was blocked by Norman. Heads up as that goes into the crowd right down below us. I think everybody. I think everybody's okay. Someone lost a pair of glasses down there. Checking with the gentleman to see if he's okay. Langdon against McGraw. Scramble draw. Myers got it. Jordan Murr can't pull the trigger. Maintains possession. Robinson, his shot right on goal. Downer has that one. No rebound this time. Shots on goal now, even five apiece. Caps control it. Pender. Get it in over the blue line. Onside, but then they lost. I think they thought it was offside. They let the puck go. The linesman on this side in, waved it off. Well, the Red Wings to get it out. Pender, good pass for McGraw. Catches him in full flight down the right side. His shot from a sharp angle. Stopped by Clark. Let's go into the corner. McGurk battling for it. Comes three, and the Red Wings have it. Jordan Marr is looking for coffee. Back the other way they'll go. Stevens, his wrist shot. That's snatched out of the air by Clark. And we get a scrum in front of the Deer Lake goal. Seven oh nine to go here in the opening period. Still waiting for our first goal. No penalties coming out of all that. Missing my broadcast partner, Robert Golding. This evening, Robert and I have been calling senior hockey and AAA U18 for many years now. Uh, Robert couldn't make it this weekend, unfortunately. Well, I can't give you an update on what brand of skates players are wearing or what color their laces are. There's a shot in front of what a save by Clark, his best of the game. So he got the blocker on it. Robert picks up on all the details. <laughs> I may miss, but wow, what a save by Clark a moment ago as he got the left hand out. Left hand to goalie. Blocker on the left hand. That was headed for the top corner. Both teams will change with 6.45 to go here in the first period. Red Wings 
Controlled from the face off. Throw it around the other side. Nobody there for Deer Lake. So McGurk able to get it out down the ice. It's back to McGurk. He'll turn, shoot it in. Robinson setting up for Deer Lake. But Sims, Sims had that pass picked off by Humber Dredge. Sims has got it again. This time he'll get it out. Parfrey will backhand it in. Clark leaves it for Sims. Six minutes left, opening period. Game one of these Herder finals. Pass a little bit too far. Thompson cleared it out. Brewer holds it, threw it right on goal. Comes back to the point. No more with a shot. Clark kept that one out. Brewer gets it behind the goal. Tempted wrap around it, but oh my goodness. Again, third time, first period. Nets come off. Break there for the Red Wings. And looking around the stadium, I'm not sure I can find too many empty seats. One here and there. They could be people who are, who knows, at the canteen or wherever. Pretty much sold out, I think. Certainly a very big crowd on hand. A lot of interest in this herder. Goes to the corner. McKay gets it up ahead. Still kept in. Now it will come out over the blue line. Isaiah Keynes left it. Dumped in. Joel Bishop. Weaving his way through center, in over the blue line, knocked off his stick by Oak. Bishop and Oak go to the boards. Pender into the slot, another save by Clark. Billy Clark's been very good here in this opening period. Downer hasn't been as busy, but he's made two or three terrific saves as well. Lots of scoring chances. That pass picked off, brought in. Drover across, Murr, Murr, shoots, put it over the top of the goal. On the other way, McGurk. Kyle McGurk trying to cut towards the goal. Robinson with a good play. Knocked the puck off McGurk's stick, then took him to the boards. Goes up in the air, out at center. Robinson. That hit Langdon. Up for Murr. Murr trying to follow up on it. Goes down into the corner. Drove her in there in support. Puck comes behind the goal. St. John's have it. Meyer stepped into his man, but the Caps come away. They'll get it to center, and they'll shoot it in. McKay slipped as he turned to go behind his goal. Dumped down into the corner. Sims, they're saying he touched it with a high stick, so the whistle goes, and the faceoff will stay right there in the Deer Lake end. St. John's win the faceoff. Bishop with a shot. That went wide. Comes through the near boards. McKim gets it behind the goal. To McGraw. He gets knocked down. And away come the Red Wings. Brandon Hines into the middle. Looking for coffee. Hines reaching for it. Cleared out. Shot back in. Red Wings have to tag up. McGraw. Knocked out of the air by Bishop. Going to catch up to it. Can't quite. Again, the net's going to come off as the Deer Lake player slid into it. It's Lucas McKay diving back to stop that. And 
Ran into the net with his right shoulder. Sliding across the ice. Under three to play, first period. Players in there looking for it. They come up along the boards. Red Wings get it out. Anderson reaching for it. Headed in his skates. That's going to be offside. The blue line. Langdon won the faceoff, drove her. Robinson shot it in, came off the end boards. Downer kept it going. Puck comes out in front, off the boards, back at the point. Robinson is looking for a drover. He had trouble finding it. It's McKenzie. Langdon. Back for Marr. The Oak, long pass up ahead, was looking for Langdon, wasn't touched, so that's going to be an icing call against the Red Wings. Under two to play now here in the first. Game two goes same time tomorrow night, 7.30 here at the CBS Arena. And we will have that one for you here on AO.Live. Toffee shoots it in for Deer Lake. Hines had evil intentions on that hit. Just missed his man behind the net. And the puck is cleared out. Sims back to get it. Just played out by Deer Lake. Minute and a half to go. Bishop turning at center. Lifts it really high in the air. Comes down behind the goal. Steven Sims back to pick it up. Sims up at the blue line. Finds Coffey. He'll drop it back for Hines. Over this side for McKay. Lucas McKay, the defenseman, coming in. Around the goal. Threw it out in front. McKay's got it again. Now Downer has it. He's got it covered. Langdon in to take the face off for Deer Lake against Michael Cole. Langdon wins it cleanly back at the point. Kept in by Robinson. Backhanded down into the corner. Behind the goal. Drover. Cody Drover. Having a look around. Drover still with it. Drover protecting the puck. Threw it across. There's a shot that was blocked. Robinson had a chance and a good block by Frewer. Drover's got it again. That shot. Kicked away by Downer. Drover got it out into the crease back at the point. Robinson that hit the referee. Drover tried to backhand it in front. He's got it behind the goal. Comes back at the point. 20 seconds left. Robinson. Good shift here for the Red Wings. That shot kicked away. Frewer's got it. Still can't get it out. Walsh behind his goal, holding it. Seven seconds to go. And it looks like St. John's content to run out the clock. The buzzer goes to end the first period. It was a entertaining opening 20 minutes of this 2024 Herder Championship. Shots on goal after 
one period of play favoring St. John's by a count of 11 to eight, both goaltenders shining at times in that first period. Couple of power play opportunities for St. John's, one for Deer Lake, neither able to capitalize on the man advantage. Okay, we're gonna take an 18 minute break and we'll be back with period number two of game number one of the 2024 Herder Memorial Trophy Championship Series here in CBS, exclusively on AO.Live. Back in a few minutes, folks.
All right, the teams come back out on the ice for the start of period number two. We've got no score after the first period of play. Do a little repair job on the ice at the St. John's Blue Line. Teams are ready to go. As you can see, there's still a few seconds left to go on the intermission clock. We're going to let that run out. Everybody's anxious to get it going. All right, five aside to start the second period. Red Wings, Caps. Humber Dredge to face off against Michael Hines. Dredge wins it. Brandon Hines plays it back to McKay. Up ahead. Sims. Shot off a stick. It's up here in the near boards. Caps come up with it. Humber Dredge. McKay gave him a little hip check. He's taken to the boards. Buck still sitting in behind the Deer Lake goal. Humber Dredge behind the goal. Tanner Humber Dredge controlling it. Headed out in front. Stolen away. McKim with a shot off the stick of McKay and up and out of play. Good shift by St. John's. Both teams change with the Langdon Drover Meyer line coming out for the Red Wings. Norman reaching for it, able to hold it in momentarily. Still kept in. Good job done at the blue line. His shot kicked away by Clark. Kyle McGraw had that great chance in front. Then he went through the boards. So in a pretty good body check for good measure. That will come out over the blue line. Shot back in by Norman. McGraw waiting for it. Chips it along the boards down deep. Bishop in looking for it. He's got it. Threw it back to the point. McKim, weak backhand was stopped. Norman holds it in at the left point. Into the middle. Bishop. He had it taken away by Marr. Marr dumps it in. Langdon elects to go to the bench. That line goes off for the Red Wings. Bishop with a good rush here. Good speed down the right side. Drops it back. Knight fed it in, looking for Bishop on the give and go and put it behind his teammate. Marr in front is tipped over the top of the goal. Jonathan Park in looking for it. He had that deflection a second ago. Snow hesitated a bit, then went in. Puck goes over the glass. Face off to be just outside the Deer Lake Blue Line. Sorry, the St. John's Blue Line. And that's going to be a penalty. His player had the stick knocked out of his hands. That was Brandon Knight, and it's going to be Stephen Sims gone to the penalty box. So another power play for St. John's. A couple in the first period. It's showing on the board as Johnny Anderson with the penalty. For Deerlake, and that's cleared away. McKim back to get it. 
Clearly not Anderson with the penalty. He's out on the ice. It is Sims in the penalty box. Cole able to hold it in. Down into the corner it goes. Thrown around the boards. St. John setting up. Back at the point. McKim, his shot. That hits some traffic in front. And Robinson sends it down the ice. Murphy Johnson back to get it. Back to Jackson Murphy Johnson. Quickly ahead. McGraw with some speed. Drops it off. For Bishop. Bishop spinning away from McKay. Gets it to the side of the goal. They score! Just takes it out from behind the goal, jams it in. Joel Bishop makes it one to nothing for the home side. So a power play goal for St. John's. They strike first and take a one to nothing lead. Goal comes three minutes, eight seconds into this second period. Mar in over the blue line. Langdon back at the point and it'll get out. Oak's got to hustle back. He does. Gets it to Sims. Sims gets to center, shoots it in. Mar stole it. Jordan Mar down for Langdon. Langdon with a shot that went wide. Sims. Played it behind the goal, waiting for it back there was Parfrey, and he had it taken away. It bounces out in front, it's back towards the blue line, brought out by St. John's. Tanner Humber Dredge. Oak stayed with him, knocked the puck off his stick. Robinson. Off the glass, Mara couldn't control it. Robinson going in to get it himself from his defensive position. A little chip and chase. It stays in the corner. It's a hit along the board. Sticks come up a little bit. And the puck is cleared down into the far corner. Norman back to get it for the Caps. And Downer's going to have to come out and hang on to that. We'll get a face off in the St. John's end. 15-21 to go. Here in period number two, we've got our first goal of the game. Pender left it in the corner. McGurk will bring it out. McGurk to center. Down into the far corner. McKay on it first. Anderson. Back to McKay. He'll go back to Anderson. He'll flip it out. Heffernan. For McGurk. No icing. Nice job by McKay, spinning away and getting the puck off the ice. Dumps it in. Down a route to play it. Cross ice pass too far. Will that be enough to get an icing call? It is. So the face off will come back down to our right. Michael Hines against McGraw. Red Wings win the faceoff. A weak shot by Hines. Ends up in behind the goal and then cleared to the near corner. Bishop's got it there for St. John's. Bishop, cross ice pass coming in through the middle of McGraw. Boy, he can skate. McGraw with a shot. Very quick skater, Kyle McGraw. 
for Coffee. He's saying he touched it, again, no icing. Michael Hines threw it in front, looking for his brother Brandon, unable to get a stick on it. St. John's bring it out. Murphy Johnson tipped it in, then backed up. Steven Sims. Brandon Hines, he missed it, and this time it will be icing against Deer Lake. Both teams will change. Thompson against Langdon in the face-off circle. Caps have it. A shot from the circle, kicked out. Humber Dredge has it again. Takes it behind the goal. Ducks under a check. With had the puck taken away by McKay. McKay tried to play it over to the corner. Humber Dredge got in the way of that. He's got it in behind the goal. Back to Humber Dredge. Go behind the goal, threw it through the crease. It comes out. Mara moved it ahead for Drover. Cody Drover. Drover trying to break in. Defense stayed with him. They turn it over. Here's Drover. Another good defensive play. Snow shoots it in. Downer leaves it there for Norman. Humber Dredge. He's got McKenzie heading for the front of the goal. Snow did a good job to stay with him. Tied up his stick. Puck went into the corner. Along the boards. Humber Dredge back to the point for Pender. Pender turns, shoots, went off a couple of sticks wide. Sims plays it into the corner. Back at the point, Pender has it. Swings it over to the right side. That shot off the end boards by Heffernan. That was a design play to shoot it in wide, hoping it would ricochet out in front. Cap stay on it. Dumped out by Keynes. St. John's will bring it back in. Heffernan, his shot. That didn't miss by much short side. Then it's cleared out. Gets past Pender. Pender gets back. Does a good job. Be careful Hill. A nice defensive place to kick the puck up. Delayed offside. Penny has to clear the zone. Didn't realize it right away. Now he does. Knight trying to squeeze by Sims. He lost it. Penny. That's dumped back in by St. John's. Oak back to get it. Walsh turning. Gets it up ahead. Cole. Cole trying to cut in front. Has it taken away by Oak. And St. John's stay on it. Bishop. They'll try and throw it around. That hit Oak. Almost a giveaway at the blue line, but Parsons has it. Anderson can't get it in front of the goal. Deer Lake changing. He'll shoot it back in. Murphy Johnson back to get it. We come here to the near side to Lucas McKay. Normore. He's poke checked. McKim's got it. Normore got back and knocked it away from him. Now Normore has it. That went off a skate. Sims that hit the linesman. Brought back in, but that'll be offside. Face off come outside the blue line. 10:31 to go in the second period. One to nothing. And a goal by Joel Bishop on the power play for St. John's. Kim backhands it in. McKay back to get it. He'll leave it there for Sims. In through the middle. Michael Hines. Brandon Hines. Bouncing puck. Couldn't get away a shot. Then he's knocked down. Parfrey stayed with him. McKim brings it in over blue line. Drops it back for Humber Dredge. Humber Dredge makes a couple of moves. And he gets knocked down by Hines. 
Sims. Come this side to McKay. McKay gave it away to Knight. Now Knight will bring it in over the blue line. Brandon Knight. Right in front is tipped just wide. Great chance there for St. John's. Michael Cole with the opportunity. Great pass from Knight to Cole. Cole just put it wide, short side. Now Cole's got it again. Michael Cole into the crease. It's tipped. This time Clark has got it. He's looking for McGurk. Nine thirty to go. Pender. Back inside the blue line, looking for Cole. Cole reached out for it, did not touch it. Whistle goes, and that'll be icing against St. John's. Face-off win for the Red Wings. Puck goes into the corner. Drover looking for it. Marr, that one off of Bishop. Pender, he'll drop it back. Cross ice. There's a shot, and Clark again has got it. No rebound. Red Wings make a wholesale change. Oak and Normore up front now for the Red Wings. McKay setting up behind his own goal, taking his time. He get it to center and backhands it in. Murphy Johnson back there first, kept in by Anderson. Now he's bowled over. Right out in looking for it. Collision in behind the goal. Puck comes out. Red Wings have it. McKay. From a sharp angle. Anderson's shot is stopped. Back at the point. Sims has it. Down into the corner. It rattles around off two or three legs. And St. John's come away. Mark right out. Softly down into the corner, out to play it is Clark. Thought about making the pass up ahead as St. John's were changing. Thought better of it, left it for his defense. No more trying to barge in. He had it taken away by McGraw. And then it comes to the side of the goal and Downer has to be quick to get the trapper down on that. Scramble draw, reaching for it is Hines. Brandon Hines backhand towards the goal. That stopped. Cleared away by Parfrey. Then back of the point, a shot from Michael Hines goes into the corner. And will come out. Bishop, the goal scorer, had it momentarily, then lost it. 
No more. Shot back in by Sims. Langdon's got it, but that'll be offside against Deer Lake. This period moving along quickly as well. First period went by, it seemed like a blink. Roger Pender over to his defense partner. That was Heffernan who played it in, then it shot just wide. On it, Drover. Into the middle, Langdon. Drew Langdon will shoot it in. Drover. Pender in over the blue line, Pender. Fed it in front, too far for McGurk. And Clark will cover it up as McKay gets involved. Snow comes in, a couple of St. John's players in there. It's Brandon Knight, his helmet knocked off. Oh, with another shove to McGurk in behind the goal. Officials finally get in there and get the players separated. And Brandon Knight down to the penalty box for St. John's. Lucas McKay will go for Deer Lake. Well, wait a minute. Knight has left the penalty box. Initially, Knight had gone into the penalty box. It looked like it was going to be offsetting. He got called back out. It's a power play for St. John's. Down at the scorer's table, they Ask the officials to come over to get a confirmation on what the penalty is. So the only penalty going against Lucas McKay, power play for St. John's, leading it by one. They scored on their last power play. Robinson plays it to the boards. St. John set it up. Bishop, Bishop circling. Bishop trying to cut into the middle, stayed with it, then fanned on the shot. Backhanded out by Anderson. And the whistle went, I think it was inadvertent. No? Eagle Eye Cameron, Steve, no, was touched by a high stick. Minute 39 to go in the power play. Bishop will drop it back and he'll get the return pass. Red Wings clear it. Shot in by Hines. Brandon and Michael Hines up front. Robinson and Oak in the back end. Trying to kill off this penalty. Here's McKim. Slingshots it back to Cole. Cole in over the blue line. It's a stick knocked out of his hands and heads up as the puck is shot into the St. John's players bench. Minute four to go in the power play.
Face-off win for Deer Lake. That will allow them to send it the length of the ice. That will help kill some time. Under a minute to go now in the power play. McGraw. Cole. McKim. Able to walk right in. A shot. That hit. Clark, not sure he saw it. Murphy Johnson holding it. Tried to make a move. Coffey stayed with him, got to the boards first, and cleared it out. 20 seconds to go in the power play. Bishop winding up. Gets around Langdon. Bishop made a nice move at the blue line, but then lost his balance. Langdon shorthanded. Five seconds to go in the power play. Tried to make the pass across for Marr. But a good penalty kill for Deer Lake. That shot just missed. Drover ahead to Marr. Marr cutting in. Knocked off. His stick. Drover stayed with it. Put it wide. Out in front for Langdon. Downer with a big save. Shot by Marr. That was blocked. Humber Dredge got in the way of that one. Drover. Robinson. That shot was blocked. St. John's blocking everything. Humber Dredge back the other way. In front. Scores! <laughs> Credit the defensive stand down in their own end. Deer Lake with multiple chances. Pretty much everything got blocked. And then they come the other way. Here it is. Here's that last block. That was Humber Dredge. He'll bring it in. And a great shot. Brandon Knight makes it two to nothing. Great speed by the St. John's Caps. Once they broke out of their own end, Humber dredged with the puck and Knight just put his head down and beat the defense to the goal, able to get that pass and rip it past Billy Clark. And it is two to nothing for the home team. McKay, Brandon Hines, Coffey, he'll shoot it in. Michael Hines, got it out in front. Brandon Hines was there, downer held the post. Kept it out, kept in by McKay, good play. His shot, looking for the deflection. Brandon and, oh sorry, Brandon Hines and Coffey were in there looking for it. St. John's come up with it, dump it out. And there's gonna be a cross-checking penalty. It's been a feisty affair between these two teams, and it continues at the St. John's Blue Line. Everybody get a partner. McKay is upset. He just grabbed Paul Norman. Brandon Hines gone to the penalty box. Paul Norman gone to the penalty box for St. John's. Brandon Hines picked up the initial penalty, cross-checking. Norman gets a unsportsmanlike for St. John's. So we're going to stay five on five.
All right, we're good to go. Five on five. McKay, long shot in, wide of the goal. Puck bouncing around down in the corner. Caps have it. Frewer can't get it out. Put back in deep. Heffernan played it around the boards. And out it comes. Robinson. McKay. Rings it around the boards. Park gets to it first. Plays it back in behind the goal. Normore looking for it. Rattles around at the side of the goal. Downer has it. And the whistle goes. Two oh two left to go here in the second period. A couple of goals by the St. John's Caps. Got them out in front. Shots on goal, 22-16, favoring St. John's at this point of the game. Red Wings with a chance. It's backhanded wide. Drover's got it behind the goal. Cody Drover. That shot put just wide. Drover out in front. Can't get a stick on it. Back at the point. Sims with a shot. Deflected wide. Langdon. Over to an open corner. And Sims steps into his man. Said it was feisty. Sims. Knocked down the much smaller McKim. 128 to go. A couple of people ask about those couple of black lines you see in an arc down inside the Deer Lake. And as we look at it now, it's a light for figure skating. It's hanging from the rafters here. Apparently we can't get it moved. So just try and ignore it. down in the corner to our right comes back at the point Robinson couldn't hold the line under a minute to go here in period number two Drover with a shot that went wide Knight has got it off the glass kept in by McKay Knight gets it down in deep for St. John's Clark out to play it rings it around the boards Jordan Marr holds, gets rid of it out at center, puck bouncing around, stealing it, and getting back with a great defensive play was Roger Pender. Break that up. Michael Hines had the opportunity. Penalized players, Brandon Hines, Paul Norman come out of the box, and uh, yeah, looking at that cable, I thought it was figure skating. It looked like a, a lighting fixture, but I'm told it's actually a uh, harness that's used for figure skating when they're practicing uh, practicing their jumps players can wear the harness the end of it is on a cable that goes pretty much the length of the ice anyway that's what's hanging down there to our left one last chance buzzer goes in a good period for the St. John's Caps no score after the first period Power play goal by Joel Bishop, and then a 
Even strength goal by Brandon Knight. Have them out in front, two to nothing. Shots on goal after 40 minutes of play, 22-17 in favor of the St. John's Caps. Again, we'll take an 18-minute break. Then we'll be back with period number three. This is game number one of the 2024 Herder Memorial Trophy Championship Series. We are at the CBS Arena, and we are exclusively here on AO.Live.
St. John's Caps leading the Deer Lake Red Wings. Two to nothing after two periods of play. Third period upcoming. Got an injury injury report to give you. Stephen Gillard, defenseman for Deer Lake Red Wings. Noticeably absent in that second period. Apparently broke his finger on one of the first shifts of the game in the first period. Big loss for the Red Wings. Usually paired with Captain Stephen Sims. And you get the two Stevens out there now. Gillard lost, I suspect, the rest of the series. And that is a very, very big loss for the Red Wings. Last year's herder against the Southern Shore Breakers. Gillard, arguably the best player on the ice for the Red Wings. And we've got some water on the ice. The official is, the referee is kind of tossing the puck. You can see it, it slides about a foot and a half and then comes to a sudden halt. It may have to wait a couple of minutes to let that water freeze a bit. Because right now that's not playable. He's going to come down and try it on the other end. And we can see from here a lot of very shiny spots out on the ice, which usually is an indication that there's some water buildup. We've got a little bit of a delay to start this third period. We got the squeegees out now. Okay, I think we are ready. Referee is calling the players to center ice now, so we'll get underway with this third period. The Caps leading it, two to nothing. Red Wings control it from the faceoff. Look out as that's tipped up into the crowd just to our left. Face-off just outside the St. John's blue line. Humber Dredge wins the face-off. And the Caps will set up. We got a high-sticking penalty being called. <laughs> and the Deer Lake players looking at you. Who? I didn't do it. Did you do it? And the referee's not sure. I think he's going to call Jordan Marr. <laughs> he looked at Marr. He looked at Drover. Drover Marr looked at each other. And it's going to be Jordan Marr. Two minutes for high sticking.
So an early power play here for the Caps. Try and break this open a little bit. Lead it by two. Langdon has it. Ahead for Drover. Sims trying to catch up. Drover cutting into the middle over for Sims. Pass a little bit in behind Sims. Now two on one. Bishop across and a great defensive play by Lucas McKay to break that up. St. John's were off to the races, two on one, and McKay just got the toe of the stick in the way of that pass. Cole has it knocked off his stick. Puck goes to the boards. Red Wings have it, and Langdon sends it the length of the ice. Downer out to play it. Downer leaves it for Pender. Roger Pender winding up. Pass in behind Bishop. Bishop gets it in over the blue line onside. Leaves it there for McGraw. McGraw steps in. And shot scores! Clark over. Played it a little bit to his stick side. And McGraw spotted that opening. Put it home. Great job by Bishop here. Stay onside. Control it. Just leaves it on the boards for McGraw. And you see Clark hugging that right post, expecting the shot to come short side. It goes far side, and it is three to nothing. Two power play goals. For St. John's in this one, their first goal and their third one. Him the man advantage. That's a big one, just a minute, 13 seconds into the third period. Now have opened up a three goal lead. Walsh gets it down the ice. Oak inside his own blue line. Drops it back to Robinson. To Coffey. Chips it off the glass. Down in behind the goal. Downer leaves it back there. Taps in over the blue line. That shot didn't get a lot on that, did Stevens? And Clark able to grab that. The puck was just a little bit in close to the body for Stevens. Couldn't extend and really get much on it. Robinson. Langdon, Langdon up the middle, trying to break through. Defense stayed with him, took it away. Murphy Johnson moved it ahead. Jordan Marr outside, lost the handle, goes in behind the goal. Marr still with it. Marr protecting the puck, gets it back for Langdon. It's back towards the blue line, gets past everybody. And Robinson's got to hustle back to get it. He'll leave it back there for Oak. Jordan Meyer winding up. Meyer in over the blue line, pass for Drover. Drover's got it, throws it around the other side. Snow steps up, takes a hit, gets it behind the goal. Drover with it, looking for Murr. That's tipped away. Sims. And that'll be offside. McKenzie got spun around at the blue line. A reminder, we'll do this again tomorrow. Same time, 7.30. Steven Sims. Chipped in by Parsons. Parsons going in the four check. He goes in there against Parfrey. Parfrey's got it. Norman. He lost it. Penny throws a hip check. And 
to Hewer. And the puck comes out down inside the St. John's blue line. Another collision at center. Fewer and Parsons come together. Parsons went down. Bishop cutting through the middle. And I think that's going to be a penalty against... Well, let's see. I think it's going to go against Bishop. It will against St. John, so Deer Lake trailing by three. Need to make something happen, I suspect, on this power play. Brandon Hines, Michael Hines, Coffee back at the point, Robinson and McKay. Heffernan, McGurk, Cole, and Pender out there for St. John's. Here's McKay taking it down in deep. Nowhere to go with it. Goes down into the corner. Michael Hines. Back to McKay, back to Michael Hines. Robinson, Brandon Hines threw it right out in front. Nobody could get a stick on it, and it's cleared away by the Caps. Minute 30 to go on the power play. Lucas McKay. Brandon Hines, Coffee. Hines with a shot, save made by Downer. Hard off the glass, knocked down, but look out, St. John's coming out shorthanded. Fewer with right out, Fewer's got it, shoots, glove save by Clark. Great shorthanded chance there for St. John's. That might have ended it. Four goal lead. Stays at three, 101 to go in the power play face off deep into Deer Lake end. Caps win the face off. Put it in around behind the goal. Sims couldn't catch up to it. Grover leaves it back there for Sims. Drops it for Marr, Jordan Marr. Sims. Langdon. Tried to get it to Marr. Intercepted. Murphy Johnson. Spinning along the boards. Knocked away from him by Marr. 23 seconds to go in the power play. Sims to Drover. Cody Grover, flipped it in, turned it over, and now here's a breakaway, McKim, McKim, backhand, stopped by Clark, McKim stays with it. Net has come off. Two great shorthanded opportunities for the St. John's Caps on this power play that just has five seconds remaining in it. Shot back in by St. John's, and that'll do it. Penalty is now over. A great penalty kill by the Caps. Had two best scoring chances. They had shorthanded. Here's McKim. He lost it. Parsons to Robinson. Off the glass. Not out. Now it'll come out. Can't, uh, Penny, rather, forced it out. Rattles around that center, comes through the near boards. The Caps have it. Parfrey back in his own end, goes the other side. Back to Parfrey. 
And they're looking for Bishop. Bishop goes into the corner along with Robinson. Puck is kicked free and Park has it. Up through the middle, bouncing puck. Kept in. Wraparound attempt by Robinson is stopped. Penny was looking for the rebound, but Downer has it. Dumped down the ice. This may be icing, and it is. Coffee breaking in. Coffee with a chance down or kept it up. Puck is still loose. They crash the net. They score. We could see the puck loose for a while. Downer didn't have it covered. Brandon Hines came in, knocked it home. This is Coffee who starts this. Nifty little move to get a shot on goal. Down has it, but the puck is loose there. Hines comes in, bangs at it, knocks it home. Red Wings back in it, down by two. Clark around the boards. That's chipped down the ice. No icing. It's going to hold up right there. Bishop into the middle. McGraw over to McKim. Back to McGraw. Quick shot over the top of the goal. That hit the referee down in the corner. Robinson's got it. Around the boards. Nobody over there for the Red Wings. McKim will get there first place. It'll be a hunting goal for McGraw. McGraw tried to snap it out in front. That was stopped by Murr. Snow. Just gets rid of it. Drover following up on it. Drover's in. Drover cross for Murr into his skates. Takes it into the corner. Pushed against the boards by Murphy Johnson. He's fishing for it in there. Comes out here, Grover tried to give it back to Langdon. And that's picked off, and out come the St. John's Caps. Comes down to Clark, touched by a high stick. Either way, that covered it up. It'll be a face-off in the Red Wings end. 11-10 to go. Red Wings get themselves on the board. Anderson, cross ice pass, a good one. Snapshot put just wide. Chance for Normore. Snow dumps it in. Knocked out of the air by Park. St. John's will take it back behind their goal. Parfrey. 
Played it ahead, chipped in by McGurk. It comes to the side of the goal. Clark will cover it up there. McKay tried to make the pass across, but went right in front of his own goaltender. St. John's come up with it along the boards. Back towards the point, kept in, bouncing puck wide of the goal into the near corner. Robinson lugs it in over the blue line, drops it off for Hines. Hines with a shot, blocker save made by Downer. Hines has got the puck. That's going to be a tripping penalty against St. John's, and Deer Lake will go on the power play. Paul Norman headed to the penalty box. So trailing by two. Still half a period to go. Red Wings will have a man advantage. Last time they had a man advantage. St. John's had the two best scoring chances while shorthanded. You have Brandon Hines and Lucas Robinson playing the point. Langdon Mar Drover up front. It's kept in, and then it's cleared out. Hines has to go back to get it. Drover, Drover mishandled that pass. Meyer winding up. Meyer cutting into the middle. Little Langdon. That's broken up. He's going to skate it right into the heart of the defense. Hines, Langdon drops it. Drover, Drover in over the blue line. Cody Drover. Swings it around the other side. Waiting for it over there is Lucas Robinson. Back for Drover. Drover's pass went right in between Marr and Hines. Whiteout almost got away. Now Marr has it. Marr. Back for Hines. Back to Marr. Marr steps in. Down low for Drover. Right into the crease it goes. It bounces around and then cleared away by St. John's. 45 seconds to go in the man advantage. That pass didn't connect with anybody down the ice. Red Wings guilty of some poor passing on this power play. A power play that has 39 seconds remaining in it. Michael Hines wins the faceoff for the Red Wings. McKay. Michael Hines. Chip it in. Into the corner. Coffee. No more. Back to McKay. Swings it the other side for Sims. Sims holding it. Can't shoot it. To McKay. McKay takes it in a little bit deeper, threw it into the slot. Hines with a shot down or kept it out, and then it is cleared away. That'll do it for the power play. Norman back on the ice for St. John's. Normore shoots it in. Downer around the boards. Sims. Goes to the boards. Michael Hines cycles it back low. Hit along the boards. Sims. 
to McKay. Anderson did not get a stick on that, so icing against the Red Wings. 7.21 to go. Robinson got it ahead to Ryan Penny. Penny gets it down in deep, down a route to play it into the corner, knocked down there, comes up along the boards, gets past Robinson down the ice. Oak has to go back to get it. Trying to get it to Anderson, passes too high for him to handle. Humber Dredge. Keeps on going. Penny stepped into him. Back at the point. It's kept in. Tipped in front. Couple of saves by Clark. Keeps it out. Big turnover back at the blue line. The shot came in. Caps had a couple of whacks at it. Clark able to keep it a two-goal game. over six and a half to go in this one. It's flipped in. Langdon got there first. Got it to Murr. Grover. Behind the goal looking for Langdon. Langdon to Murr. Murr holding it. Back at the point for Sims. Puck bounced on him. And it came out. Now Sims has got it. Cody Drover into the middle. Marr. Marr against four St. John's Caps players. It kept in by McKay. And then cleared out. This will go. Looks like it's going to go right on goal. It will. So no icing. Back to get it. Robinson. Under six to go. Robinson gets the return pass. But nowhere to go. Now Robinson's got it. Looking for Drover. Puck didn't get to him. McGraw up ahead. McKim had a chance, but the puck went under his stick. Now he's got it in the corner. Tried to feed it back. Robinson is away. Hines pulls it back. Shoots it. Stick saved by Downer. Drover. Get it down deep, in looking for it. Brandon Hines, he gets there first. Hines to the side of the goal, got a shot down, or has got it, kept it out. Didn't catch the exact number, but 50-50 is well over $2,000 here tonight. Not surprising with the big crowd on hand. A couple of St. John's players go down. Hine stepped into one, and then his teammate fell over, and that was Humber Dredge, and... Stevens, I'm sure Humber Dredge is shaken up. He's gone to the players' bench. Play continues. That pass off the mark. Under four and a half left. Come right down to Clark. And he will put the trapper on it. We'll get a whistle. 4.14 to go.
Steve Clark on the camera checking his 50-50 tickets. Any winners, Steve? Nope. No, well, it wasn't you. <laughs> Robinson. He'll go in himself. Gonna activate the defense now. Under four to play, down by two. Park. Back behind the goal. Anderson. Comes loose. Wraparound puck goes up in the air. It goes wide in behind the goal. Comes out to the fireboards. Kept in by McKay. And St. John's forced to just clear it down the ice. Rolling puck. And it's going to roll wider than that. And that'll be an icing call against St. John's. We'll start to wind down in this one now. 3.32 left to go. Again, the lines there are a figure skating harness hanging from the ceiling. Grover trying to bust through. Bishop getting away. T gave it away. Puck bouncing around and the Caps come up with it. A dangerous moment there. McGraw flipped it over for Bishop. Headed out in front. Mara got a stick in the way of that. Heffernan was kicked wide by Langdon. Under three to go. We'll keep an eye now on Billy Clark down in the Red Wings. Yeah, that the Red Wings can get control of the puck, but right now it's sent down deep in their end. Sims back to get it. Clark waving at the bench, looking for instructions. And he's being waved out. Derelict net is empty. Six skaters out there for the Red Wings. Marr being pushed to the boards. Caps come up with it. Bishop in behind the play. Net has come off and Carl Downer shaking his hand. He indicated to the referees, okay. It's his right hand. Debating about where the faceoff should be. Looks like it's going to be inside the St. John's blue line. Downer was trying to convince the referee to move it out. Now line's going to referee uh, having a conference down to the side of the goal. Let's see, where are they going to bring it? They are going to bring it outside. Huge difference at this point. With the net empty. Puck had been cleared down the house. They weren't sure, weren't sure where it was for a little bit. Linesman retrieved it. And Clark is going to go back in the goal. Red Wings win it. I suspect Clark now will head to the bench. He hasn't gotten the word yet. Now he goes. That shot blocked. Robinson's got it. Normore just came off the bench. He shot right on goal. Save made by Downer. Knight with the empty net. Missed it. Did get over center though before he shot it. Smart play. No icing. Under two to go. Hines. Mishandled by Coffey. Knight's got another chance. Knight shoots. That was blocked. Knight again cleared away. Three chances. There's Coffee. Hines, Hines, hard in. Normore circling the goal. Got it in front. Tipped away by Cole. Back at the point. Drover over the other side. Sims. That one off a leg to the boards. Kept in by Sims. Sims towards the goal, tip, they score! <laughs> 
Mitchell Normore. The shot from Sims. Normore just got a stick on it. Got it up high. Good work here to get the puck back at the point. It's kept in. Here's Sims. And just redirecting it up high. <laughs> Boy, we are in for a finish. 3 2. Timeout. St. John's cap seemed to be in complete control of this game a few minutes ago. But things have changed. He had those two great shorthanded opportunities. Knight, three chances to put it away with the empty net. One went wide, one was blocked, and the other he just couldn't get a stick on it. So it was a bit of a scramble in front. Puck was bouncing around. That would have ended it. Instead, it comes back the other way. And the Red Wings get themselves a power play goal. All right, 109 to go. Clark back in the net for Deer Lake. Red Wings control it, but it's all the way back in their own. That's going to take some time off the Clark. Clock, and Clark leaves it in the corner. Red Wings need to get it going the other way. Under a minute to go now. Sims. Leaves it. Langdon. Back for Sims. Hines tips it in. That's Michael Hines. Down in with Murphy Johnson. Clark is out of the net. They've got the sixth attacker out there again. 35 seconds to go. Lots of time to work here. With six out there. Hines will turn. Shoot it. Right on goal. Downers got it. No rebound. Eighteen seconds. Caps holding it against the boards. Twelve seconds, doing a great job of killing the clock. The Red Wings have it. Out to Hines, and it bounced over his stick, and that's going to do it. With just one second left to go, Brandon Hines had a chance. He was winding up, and he's got one of the best shots in senior hockey, and unfortunately for the Red Wings, fortunately for the St. John's Caps, the puck hopped over his stick, and St. John's Caps take game one in dramatic fashion here at the CBS Arena. 3-2 is your final. Final shots on goal. Every bit as close as the score. 29-28 favoring St. John's. Well, let's hope that it's a sign of things to come for this herder. We had a terrific game here tonight for game number one. We'll be back tomorrow night. 7.30 again here from the CBS Arena. And then next week in the series, we'll switch over to the West Coast to Deer Lake at the Hodder Memorial Recreation Complex. Games three, four, and five if necessary. And then back here the following weekend if a game six is required. But a good start. A dandy start. All right, that's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed our coverage here on AO.Live. And will be back with us again tomorrow evening. My name is George Scott, our cameraman, Stephen Clark. And we'll be both be here again tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. See you tomorrow night.